Now, a 62-year-old businessman has been shot dead by unknown assailants at Aswade, close to Mankoso in the Ashanti region. Al-Haji Abu Bakr Sadiq was gunned while performing ablation for the evening's prayer at his fuel station. Eyewitnesses say two of the four men fired indiscriminately whilst walking away from the crime scene. They made away with his three mobile phones and 300 CDs, which a fuel attendant at the station threw at them. Nanai Jima visited the scene and has come through with this report. Behind me is the frontage of Alhaji's office, where he sat and performed ablution for the evening's prayers. Unfortunately, two men approached him and killed him instantly. They shot him twice, one in the head and the other in the neck. Eyewitnesses say two of the four assailants in nose mask attacked the man at the premises while two others made their way to his home behind the fuel station. Two of them had guns wrapped in knapsacks. Here is an eyewitness I choose to call Joe. I started struggling with one of them after the gun went off in a knapsack. When he saw that go on, he also struggled with the other. The guy then overpowered him, pulled the gun, but missed the target. I tried to fight that one instead, but I couldn't reach him in time. He shot Alaji twice, and I attempted to flee, throwing the seal I had made at them. He then shot into my direction. I fell, giving the impression I had been shot. Police have commenced investigations immediately. They are assuring residents perpetrators of the crime will be brought to book. A half district police commander, Superintendent Richard Buahin, spoke to the media after visiting the scene for the second time with investigators from the regional command, led by Deputy Regional Commander David Ajem. I advise the filling station owners to install security cameras to aid us when something like this happens. But we will do our best to ensure we arrest perpetrators. The Ahafuano South East District, carved out of the Ahafuano South, has only six policemen. District Chief Executive Joseph Ajimandapa explains measures adopted to deal with security challenges. This side of the Kumase Accra Road records most of the robbery cases on this stretch. So we mounted checkpoints to help the situation. What we want is resident policemen to help those we have here. Many on Thursday gathered here where he was killed less than 24 hours after the incident for his burial according to Islam religion. Mr. Dapa joins others to eulogize the diseased. Alaji has helped the district in diverse ways. We have a letter addressed to him seeking support for upcoming Farmers Day. For Joy News, Nana Ojima reporting. And that's how we end the AM News. I am a Peter CBD. The AM Show continues with Mama V and Benjamin. Enjoy.